Hi guys and guys and welcome to Magic. My name is Thomas Hansen and I'm one of the magicians over at Aista. And in this uh, video I am going to teach you some Hyperlander, an introduction to Hyperlander. Here I have a Magic uh, dashboard, I'm uh, logging into my uh, backend. And at which point I'm brought on to dashboard. Now your primary weapon of choice when you are teaching yourself Hyperlander should be the evaluator. The evaluator allows you to execute Hyper Lambda in uh, immediate mode. Uh, let me illustrate by clicking the load button here. You see the load button contains uh, a lot of example Hyper Lambda snippets illustrating uh, many parts of Hyper Lambda as a programming language. For instance, if I now uh, choose the add snippet here, then it will load up a snippet that executes a piece of Hyper Lambda. When I click function F5 on Mac or F5 on Windows, assuming my code mirror uh, editor has focus, important, then you will see uh, the result pane uh, below here. And this particular snippet, it uh, invokes one slot called add. Uh, add takes one expression, then it takes uh, these arguments being basically a list of nodes to add into the um, node resulting from evaluating the expression. Uh, when uh, the snippet uh, is done executing, we will see that we have the full bar node inside of our dot destination node. However, let's first look at its syntax. Now, ignoring the fact of that Hyper Lambda allows you to comment your code, uh, then Hyper Lambda actually exists of three basic things. Uh, and each of these things are basically nodes. And a node can have a name, it can have a value, and it can have a children collection. Now, in this particular snippet, we have one, two, three, four nodes, four nodes in total. This node only has a name, its name is dot destination. Well, this node has a name and then it has a value. However, in between its value and its name, there is an X. This is a type declaration. And the type of X basically means expression. So basically what we are telling uh, the Hyper Lambda execution engine here is that this part here following the column is an expression. Now an expression in Hyper Lambda is crucial to understand. Uh, why? Because Hyper Lambda actually doesn't have variables at all, literally. Hyper Lambda is actually a Turing complete programming language without variables and without functions <laughs> and without classes. Uh, still, it's 100% Turing complete. Why? Because it actually resembles XML and XSLT uh, combined with XPath. Implying you can actually change any node anywhere you wish in the language. Let me illustrate that by uh, loading up, uh, by the way, you can filter here, by loading up the while example here. So this example, Hyper Lambda snippets. And by the way, for the record, you will find all of these snippets in your own installation if you download and install Magic locally on your own development machine. Here I'm declaring a .nu node having a value of zero with a type being int, of course, implying integer. Then I'm invoking the while uh, slot. And the while slot takes two arguments. It takes a condition and it takes a dot lambda object. The dot lambda object is the body of the while statement or whatever you want to call it. This is the stuff it is supposed to execute. While this condition results in true. LT means less than and then get value implies get the value of the dot new node implying zero for the first iteration and then it compares that value with uh, the value of 20 integer and then it ensures that the value is less than so basically while nu is less than 20 do this and this of course implies creating a log entry in our log for them to increment 
the dot null value at the top. So let's execute this code. And obviously, uh, as you can probably guess already at this point, uh, if you copy this URL and you uh, open another browser tab and you find your log, which you can find underneath analytics here, log, you will see 20 log entries. All of them being the same. How they from while, how they from while, how they from while, how they from while, etc. etc. Now this is really, 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 really weird. I know that. Now, the purpose of Hyper Lambda isn't to be a simple and easily understood programming language. The purpose of Hyper Lambda is actually to allow your computer to automatically generate code. Now, to illustrate that example, I need to actually create some self-evolving code, right? At which point I can, for instance, let's say I want to change this log.info invocation to a log.error invocation. Well, that's very, very easy. Set, colon, and by the way, if you hold on function, control, and click space on your Mac, or you uh, click control space on uh, Windows while your code mirror editor has focus, you will be given autocomplete. Then I'm going to set the name of a node. And set name takes an expression, colon x colon, the expression can be dot dot slash asterisk asterisk slash log dot info carriage return one tab implying three spaces dot colon log dot error. Now when I execute this code, all of a sudden you see down here that the code that's actually executing inside of my while loop actually mutated. It was changed before it executed. And if I now go back to my log, of course, I will still find 20 howdy from while, but this time there will be error invocations, uh, basically error type of log entries. So this is at the heart of the uh, crudifier and uh, automation parts and the love code and uh, the code generator in magic that actually allows magic to automatically generate code for you constructs such as these. Now, let's have a look at some other examples. You see, Hyper Lambda actually is Turing complete, implying it's a real programming language. And in the snippets collections, you will find examples of if statements, by the way, option M or alt M on Windows maximizes the code mirror editor. Uh, and uh, here is an example of an if statement. What this statement says, it basically says if eq get value source, okay, source is true, compare that to boolean true, then set result, yup, else set result, no. Of course, at this point, you probably already guessed what the result of this uh, invocation becomes, but basically at line two down here in our resulting pane, we will see result equals yup. If we change the uh, source to false and we execute it, you will see no here. So this is the introduction to Hyper Lambda. And of course, uh, when you're done playing around and you're actually capable of understanding some Hyper Lambda, it's actually very, very easy to uh, create your first HTTP endpoint using Hyper Lambda. So let's just do that. Uh, before we finish up this YouTube video by opening up Hyper ID, expanding modules, and then let's create a new folder here. Let's call our folder Tutorials. Click Carriage Return, then Mark Tutorials, and click the Action Menu uh, item at the top right corner here, and choose New File, and then choose uh, foo1.get.hl, and put that into the name of your uh, file name uh, text uh, box. Click Carriage Return, at which point you now have an HTTP endpoint file where you can put anything you wish, really. So let's do math dot, and then we can add two integers, get value, r1, get value, dot, uh, actually, let's do argument, r1, argument, or two, and then let's create an arguments collection. R one int, R two int, 
and then let's return uh, colon x colon at math dot add which point we should probably change the uh, the uh, headers uh, content type text slash plane now we can save this file and we can invoke it at which point we are asked to add two arguments okay let's add seven or seven and then let's add uh, 25 and then let's invoke it and as you can see now the HTTP endpoint actually returned 32 to us now um, of course hyper lambda has hundreds of slots such as these for instance math.add is one slot get value is another slot response.headers.set is another slot changing the content type of our response object Turn is another slot, etc., etc. Uh, there is a link in the description of this YouTube video to an article uh, where you can um, read more about Hyper Lambda, leading you to even more uh, references uh, about Hyper Lambda. But uh, that was it for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.